Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in today. Today is day three in a three part video series about five things that you need to know for each of the three main bass species. We did smallmouth two days ago. We did largemouth yesterday. Today we are going to talk about spotted bass. Uh, spotted bass as a whole are really, in my opinion, out of the three species, the most mobile, meaning they cover the most ground. They are here one day, gone the next day, and they, they can be really hard to target because of it. They've got uh, things about them that make them fish similar to, say, a smallmouth bass and things about them that make them fish similar to a largemouth. But as a whole, I really feel like they're their own species. They, they really, more so than largemouth and smallmouth, do their own thing. And that can make them really difficult to target. Uh, but there are some things that you need to know about spotted bass that will help you catch more of them. So I've got five things that I'm going to talk about today. Before I get into them, guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It gets you entered into my monthly prize drawings. Uh, it's really a great, a great way to have a shot at winning some cool stuff like uh, Abu Garcia Reels, Berkeley Baits, Bridgeford Beef Jerky. We give away a bunch of stuff on a monthly basis, so hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, if you're looking to buy tackle, go to my description, hit the link to therealshot.com, use the discount code STEFAN10 when you uh, are at your checkout, then you'll save 10% off your order. Helps the channel out, helps the local bait shop out, and you get a discount. Okay, five things you gotta know about spotted bass, guys. These will help you catch more fish. Number one, chartreuse 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 there is something about the color chartreuse that triggers small uh, spotted bass to bite it's a great great triggering color and honestly when i'm fishing spotted bass i almost always have something on the bait that's chartreuse whether it's a, a chartreuse belly whether it's just a little dot of chartreuse or a tail dipped in chartreuse they love the color chartreuse and you will get more bites from spotted bass if you have a little bit of chartreuse on your bait. Uh, I mean, all the way up to a whole bait of chartreuse, but I, I personally like to have a small bit of chartreuse on my bait and I think it really gets them to trigger. So that's number one. Number two, you can never fish too deep. They love to be in, you know, zero, to 150 feet of water. Now they may not be in 150 feet of water. They may be in 50 feet of water suspended over 150 feet of water, but they love deep water. They really don't mind being out in the middle of a lake. So that's the second thing. Don't feel like you're ever too deep. I, it took me a while fishing for spotted bass to feel comfortable when I see that, you know, I look down at my graph and I'm sitting in 70 feet of water. It took me a while to be like, I feel like there could be fish around. Well, believe me guys, the spotted bass, they don't know how deep it is. They swim over it. They like that deeper water. A lot of the fish that they feed on are out in deeper water. And that brings me to number three. Number three is you wanna key in on shad first. They love bait fish. They love shad. That's their predominant forage. And because of that, that's why they're suspended out over super deep water a lot of times. A lot of the things, a lot of the fish that they feed on during the summer months and all year round really are suspended over super deep water. You know, whether it's blueback herring down in the southeast or whether it's shad in the Ozark region, wherever you're at, don't feel like you're too deep and you want to key in on bait fish. That's like, that's a huge key to locating spotted bass. Yes, they will eat crawfish. Yes, they will eat bluegill, but they are very much shad and, and you know, other bait fish orientated first. So I would key in on that. The fourth thing, and this goes along with kind of what I was just talking about and something that I've learned more recently due to forward facing sonar, uh, you know, with my active target, I've, I've really come to find that this is pretty crazy, but spotted bass love to be in small groups of like two to four fish. You very rarely will see a single spotted bass. They are just roaming around chasing bait fish and they're in small packs. And there may be times, you know, you find them in huge schools, 
But more times than not, what I have identified with my forward facing sonar is that they are in small two to four fish packs. You can scan out over 150 feet of water and you'll see two dots. You can throw your bait over there and you'll end up catching one and the other one will follow it right to the boat. They love to hunt together and there's usually more than one. If you catch one, there's, there's more in that area. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth and potentially the most important is that they are extremely shade orientated. They love shade more than the other bass species combined. You know, I, I think largemouth like the shade, smallmouth I personally think love the sun. Spotted bass will stay near the shade. If they can have a dock, a bluff wall, uh, standing timber, things that provide shade, they will usually relate to that. So if you've got, you know, on your favorite lake, if you've got something that has shade, that provides shade, and sometimes over the deeper water, the better. If you've got a big marina dock, say, that's over 150 feet of water. I mean, those fish will be around that dock because it's got bait and it's got shade. So you wanna fish shade if you're fishing spotted bass. That would be like what I would equate to largemouth fishing when you're fishing a target, say a lay down tree or a stump. Fishing a shade spot is the same thing for spotted bass. And generally, all you need to know is where the, the best shade is. So if you look at, say, a dock, and there's one area, you know, a four foot by four foot area that's got shade from multiple things, and it's the darkest spot of shade, that's where the fish is going to be. You don't necessarily need to fish an entire dock that's shade when one half of it has got more shade or has got more blocked sunlight. We'll say that. It's a, the darker shaded area. That's where the fish are gonna be because they love the shade so much. So those are five things, guys, that you need to know next time you go out chasing spotted bass. Color chartreuse activates them, they love it. I can't tell you specifically why, but they love the color chartreuse. Fish shaded areas, that's an absolute must when you're fishing for spotted bass. Follow the shad, follow the bait fish, you'll find them. You can never fish too deep, and when you find them, there's almost always more than one. So just make sure you really work that area over thoroughly. So those are five things, guys. I hope that was helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, share it on your social media, and uh, stay tuned for more tips and tricks coming out tomorrow.